Cape de Beau Oriental, Philippines, Best Places to Visit, Sleeping Dinosaur, Madi City, Aliwagwag Falls Katil, San Victor Island Paganga, Dahigan Beach Madi City. Welcome Park Devo Oriental. Sleeping Dinosaur Island. The famous Sleeping Dinosaur is a spectacular view along the long and winding road in going to Madi Devo Oriental. Sleeping Dinosaur is an island shaped like a sleeping dinosaur surrounded by the sea. There are several decks along the road that provide the best view of the spectacular place. Why is it called Sleeping Dinosaur Island? The Sleeping Dinosaur is an island shaped like a sleeping dinosaur surrounded by the sea. There are several decks along the road that provide the best view of the spectacular place. San Victor Island San Victor Island is a 3-hectare tropical destination covered with coconut, palisade, and mangrove trees. It faces the Pacific Ocean and is teeming with rich marine life. The corals on the beach of are healthy, which is why it is home to diverse marine creatures, including various breeds of fish. Situated in the coastal town of Banganga, Davao Oriental is the San Victor Island, an island facing the vast Pacific Ocean and all the beauty that surrounds it. This 3-hectare tropical island covered with towering and old coconut trees, Talisay trees, and mangrove trees is located in the peaceful barangay San Victor, just 20 minutes away from the Ganges town. It is owned by the Diocese of Madi and is currently being managed by the Catholic Parish of Baganga. One factor that makes it an ideal place for a peaceful escape is that it is just less than five minutes away from mainland Baganga. In addition, it also has electricity and a sufficient water supply, just right for travelers planning to stay longer. San Victor Island also offers overnight accommodations. From tents to dorm type rooms, they have what you are looking for. Unfortunately, at the moment, they only accept up to 150 guests. Another thing that makes it appealing to its visitors is that it has a rich marine life. Its unadulterated corals serve as home to diverse sea creatures. Dolphins can be seen frolicking in the corner of the island in the early morning. Green sea turtles and sharks can be seen swimming freely in the island's water. As an island owned and managed by the Catholic Church, the Divine Mercy Chapel was built here to accommodate retreatants exclusively. But given the increase in interest in recent years, they opened it to the public to welcome both local and foreign visitors. Since then, the management has become more considerate. Events and celebrations, excluding beach weddings, are now allowed here. Currently, a construction of a facility for retreat and team building activities is also underway. This in addition to six detached houses already built intended for lease. How to get to the San Victor Island? Getting to San Victor Island isn't easy. Let's say you're from Davao City and you still like the thrill public transportation gives, then head first to Davao City Overland Transport Terminal Dika. Once you're there take a bus trip, one that is bound for Baganga. The bus fare ranges from 310 pesos to 700 pesos for 6 hours travel time. Upon arrival at Baganga's town proper, look for a motorcycle. Once you're at Barangay San Victor, look for the registration area of San Victor Island. They will collect the 110 pesos entrance fee inclusive of the back and forth boat fare. That boat will take you to your destination in just 5 minutes. 
Discover San Victor Island Baganga, an island paradise located a few minutes away from the Surigao Davao Coastal Road. The island's white sand and crystal clear seawater can be seen from afar. San Victor Island is one of the most visited island beach resorts located in the area of Baganga, Davao Oriental. This island's three hectare space covers a resort, house, and accommodation known as San Victor Island Retreat and Formation Center, which is owned by the Catholic Bishop of Mahdi City. It also caters to a place of retreats, seminars, team building activities, wedding events, etc. So come in together, let's explore one of Davos Oriental Pride Island Paradise, San Victor Island. San Victor Island is located in the Ganga, Davao Oriental, which is situated on the southeastern side of the Philippines. The Ganga is the first-class municipality in the province of Davao Oriental. The island is situated around 10 kilometers from the main town of the Ganga, and it directly faces the Pacific Ocean. Just a few minutes from the shore of the Ganga, San Victor Island is the perfect place to relax, unwind, and get away from the busy city life. For individuals who love to explore beaches and visit the island, San Victor is a must-visit place when visiting Baganga, Davao Oriental. The island is well-maintained and clean, which makes it one of the must-visit places in Davao Oriental. Overall, San Victor Island provides windy and refreshing air, is cost-effective, and beach lovers paradise. With its crystal clear water and white sand make it ideal for a walk along the shore and a relaxing swim on the beach. Also, the serene environment of the island makes it a perfect place for internal recollection and reflections of oneself. Dahican Beach Dahican is one of the most popular destinations in Madi with its 7-kilometer pure, fine white sand shore and crystal blue water, as the crescent-shaped beach faces the Pacific Ocean. It is a perfect site for surfing and skimboarding. Why is Dahican Beach famous? Dahican boasts of its remarkable fusion of natural splendor, offering pristine, long stretch of white sand beach, sparkling, clear waters, rich marine life, and a leading spot for adventure enthusiasts and several water sports activities such as surfing, skim, boarding, a whole lot more. Where is Tahikan Beach located? It is situated 10 kilometers of downtown city proper of Madi in Davao Oriental, and is a widely popular beach destination for skimboarding and other water sports in Davao region. Tahikan Beach is a stunning 7-kilometer stretch of crescent-shaped white sand coastline and towering coconut trees along the sparkling turquoise waters of Mayo Bay facing the Pacific Ocean. It is situated 10 kilometers of downtown city proper of Madi in Davao Oriental and is a widely popular beach destination for skimboarding and other water sports in Davao region. About a hectare of the bay is a declared marine sanctuary because of its rich marine life and where dolphins, sea cows, and sea turtles inhabit the waters of Dahican. It is also home to the famous Amahan Boys of Dahican, a group of young homegrown skinboarders and surfers. Dubbed as the surfing mecca of Davao region, the strong waves, towering to about 10 feet, that hit the shoreline of the beach, are just about the perfect kind of wave surf and skimboard aficionados are looking for moderately strong, but not too much. The cold wintry breeze dominates the season. In Dahican beginning sometime in September or October, and ends sometime in May or June, during which the waves for surfing and skimming are at its peak. Although the waves and currents can be strong and treacherous during the monsoon months, Dahican Beach is still a perfect spot for skimboarding. Entrance to the beach is free and it is open to anyone. However, there are no accommodations for overnight stay at the beach, nor restaurants or convenience stores nearby, and bringing of food and drinking water is encouraged. Pitching of tents is allowed for a small fee and a hammock may also be rented. The Amahan Boys Surf Shack's kitchen may be used for cooking and does not carry any charge. However, bringing the phone supplies such as charcoal and the like is also encouraged. There are other resorts along the coast of Dahican, such as the Botona Beach Resort, Cubo Sa Dahican, and Kanak Bay, which are a kilometer or two away.
How to get to Dahican Beach? Dahican Beach is easily accessible by any means of transportation through mostly paved with occasional rough roads and is only about 15 minutes away from the downtown city proper of Mahdi, some three to four hours drive from Davao City. It's so easy to fall in love with Dahican, a 7km stretch of open beach surrounded by tall coconut trees, fine sand, and powerful waves. Mahdi's best kept secret is not much of a secret anymore. Popular with surfers, skimboarders, and plain beach enthusiasts alike, who continuously flock to the Criss 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 Crusher crescent-shaped coastline to enjoy this simple, unspoiled slice of paradise. Local government strives to keep the area protected as it's also a sanctuary for sea turtles Pawakan. In fact, the name Dahican is derived from Dike, the word locals use to describe their act of coming in from the sea to nest. Nearest Airport, the Bo City Francisco Bangoy International Airport. How to get there? Catch the Bachelor Express bus to Mahdi at the highway outside the Bo City Airport or at the Ecoland Transport Terminal around P50, 4 minus 5 hours. You can also ride a van at Gaisano Mall or Victoria Plaza. Fare 220 pesos, 3 to 4 hours. From Mahdi City Bus Terminal, hire a Hable, Hable, or Tricycle to take you to Dehe. 40 pesos if you haggle well, 15 to 20 minutes. Where to eat? In Madi proper, drop by Seaside Restaurant along Quezon T and grab a bite or box of their famous empanada and lumpia. If staying by the shore, it's better to bring your own provisions. Don't miss surfing, of course, especially if you visit between October to March. Also, keep an eye out at night when you might be lucky enough to see a pawakin lay eggs. If you have more time, take a selfie with Madi's sleeping dinosaur at Bada's Point in Barangi Daywin. When coming from Davao, just tell the bus driver to drop you off there. It always feels good to spend mornings at the beach. There's this certain calmness and beauty in the experience. But I realized, Dahican is quite different from the usual beaches I've explored in the country. It's clean, pristine, yet you could see people cleaning the shore that early, picking up pieces of seaweeds, not trash. There is this certain sense of community within the locals, collaborating efforts to protect the shore. It's inspiring to watch them do their works before the break of dawn. Kids running, meeting the waves as they perform their greatest skimboarding stunts. In a few more minutes, pastel colors emerge in the morning light as surfers and beachgoers welcome the day. Activities in Dahican Beach If you're a nature lover or a beach bum who's itching for a swim or skim or surf or scuba dive or simply wanting to relax and unwind, we love to see you in Cubo Sa Dahican Beach Resort a great place and fun to be. Wondering what things you can do in Dahican? Loosen up and try the following options. Surfing enjoy great waves all year round so get on board. Skim boarding visit the local skim board champions at Amihan Sa Dahican. They offer surfing and skim boarding lessons. Scuba diving there's a big chance you get to see the placid dugongs and playful dolphins around Dahican waters. Baywalk, AK, a seaside watch the sunset or have your photo taken at the I Love Madi installation you can enjoy a drink or two at the restaurants. Or maybe sample the delicious lumpia and empanada at Seaside Restaurant. What is Aliwagwag Falls known for? This falls is known for its staircase, like boulders, and is considered to be the highest waterfalls in the Philippines. Local folklore says that this falls was a gift from the gods to the Mandaya tribe of Katil. The tribe considers this as the source of their living and their fountain of life. Why should I visit Aliwagwag Falls? Tucked along the coast of Duvo Oriental, Katil is home to one of the country's most majestic displays of nature, the Aluagwag Falls. Known for its staircase-like boulders, this picture-perfect body of water has become a top tourist destination for its swimming area and other family-friendly amenities. 
What can you do in Aliwagwag Falls? Exploring Katil and Bagangay best started in Aliwagwag Falls if you plan to head to Madi after. Otherwise, start with the spots in Baganga. Paying the entrance fee is not necessary if you don't intend to explore the Eco Park. The Eco Park has a zipline ride adventure available for 200 pesos per person. Can you swim in Aliwagwag Falls? A designated swimming area is available for adults, and there's also one for kids, so take note of that as they are very particular here. Never go beyond the designated area, as it could be very dangerous because of the rapids. Aliwagwag Falls is a gigantic waterfall revealing 84 falls, which can be likened to stairways to heaven. It is considered as one of the best and the highest waterfalls in the entire Philippines, with a total of 340 meters high and a width of 20 meters. What is the biggest waterfall in the Philippines? Aliwagwag Falls is the highest waterfall in the country with an overall height of 1,110 feet 388 meters and is regarded as one of the most awesomely beautiful falls in the Philippines. It is situated in the middle of a forest in Katil. Where is Aliwagwag Falls found? Aliwagwag Falls is located in the municipality of Katil in Davao Oriental, also dubbed as the Stairway to Heaven. Aliwagwag Falls has 127 steps of cascading fresh and clean water. It is considered as the highest waterfalls in the Philippines and one of Davao Oriental's most popular and visited tourist attractions. How many feet is Aliwagwag Falls? Widely regarded as the tallest waterfall in the Philippines, the 84-tiered Aliwagwag Falls reaches 1,110 feet. What is Aliwagwag Falls also known as? The Aliwagwag Falls Eco Park is also known as the Aliwagwag Nature Park. Why is it called Aliwagwag Falls? It was named after the remote rural village in the municipality of Katil, where Aluwagwag Falls, the country's highest waterfall, is located. Aluwagwag Protected Landscape Aluwagwag Falls as seen from the road. Location in the Philippines The Aluwagwag Protected Landscape is a protected arena that preserves a major drainage catchment in the southern Philippines off the Danuin Fedavio region. It contains the headwaters of the Katil River in the southern Daiwada mountain range, which provides the water source and irrigation for surrounding rice fields and communities in Davao de Oro and Davao Oriental provinces. It was named after the remote rural village in the municipality of Katil, where Alwagwag Falls, the country's highest waterfall, is located. The protected landscape is part of the Philippines National Integrated Protected Areas System and was established in 2011 through Proclamation No. 139 issued by President Benigno Aquino III. It was initially a component of the 1927400 hectare 4, 763. 000 Acre Aguzan Davao Surigao Forest Reserve, declared in 1931 through Proclamation No. 369 by Governor General Dwight Davis, which underwent several amendments over the years to open up a few areas in the mineral-rich watershed to mining. Aliwagwag is situated in the Eastern Mindanao Biodiversity Corridor, which contains one of the largest remaining blocks of tropical lowland rainforest in the Philippines. It covers an area of 10,491.33 hectares 25, 9 to 4, 6 acres, and a buffer zone of 420.6 hectares 1. 039 acres in the hydrologically rich mountainous interior of the municipalities of Katil and Boston in Davao Oriental as well as a portion of the municipality of Compostela in Davao de Oro. A tributary of the Katil River which includes the Alwagwag Falls flows through the park from the 1,660-meter 5. 450F High Mount Agdiganan in the Daiwada Range or Mindanao Pacific Cordillera. This multi-tiered waterfall with 84 steps ranging from 6 minus 110 feet 1, 833, 
5M has a combined height of 1,110 feet 340M. To the south of the park lie the foothills of the 1,416 meter 4. 6 for 6 f High Mount Kazian with the Katil River running between the mountains and into the Katil Bay which opens to people within sea and the Pacific Ocean. The protected landscape is composed of lowland forests with some areas of montane and mossy forests around the peaks of the mountains. A small Mandaya community who practice slash and burn agriculture and plantation farming can also be found in the park's lower slopes. Near the park's eastern edge are irrigation canals, leading to Fikatil Damon, the village of Aragon, which provides irrigation to over 1,600 hectares for 000 acres of rice fields in 11 villages in Katil. Ali Waglag is accessible via the new Compostela Katil Road that runs through the park and near the waterfall connecting northern Davao Oriental with Compostela. It is located just 15 miles 24 km west from the Katil population and some 200 miles 3 to 0 km east of Davao City. Biodiversity Edit Ali Waglag occupies an important bird and biodiversity area in the upper Katil River basin of the Actuganan, Kazian Mountains. Its forest is home to the Philippine eagle as well as several other threatened and endemic bird species such as the Visayan miniature babbler, little slaty flycatcher and lens sunbird. The park also hosts people with an hawk eagle, Philippine dwarf kingfisher, spotted imperial pigeon, giant scops owl, and Hombrin kingfisher. It is also home to the tallest trees in the Philippines, the Philippine rosewood, known locally as two. In the waters of the upper Katil River, a rare species of fish can be found called sawagnin by locals which is harvested as a delicacy.